I'm going to open up the remote form component and on the save method instead of committing directly what we want is to persist this remote right so we want to dispatch the store remote action instead of only committing um, this mutation I'm gonna get rid of that later for now let's first create an object And in here, we'll keep the data structure that we want to store. So so I think there's a reason why I did this on the original app. We'll see if we can just pass um, this object here to the action later. OK, so we want to show or to display that loading bar while we're trying to save then we want to dispatch the action I just mentioned store remote is our action and remember it takes a payload so we're going to pass that in here so this remote is the object that we just built here. Cool. So now, and since we're returning a promise from the action, then we can use the syntax to know whether, so we can tell whether we had a resolve or a reject, in which case we want to for now, let's just handle the error here. Now that we know that the action came through, we can hide the loading bar there and we can redirect our users okay all right so this is how we dispatch an action should we try then to run this code and see what it does I'd say yes I'm going to fast forward a little bit to get rid of this silly mistake where I created a bug, then I realized what it was, and then I continue troubleshooting. Alright, is there something else? Can't resolve pink monitor in pink logic. Let's go check node modules no, it does seem like we don't have ping monitor anymore here so for whatever reason we don't have it let's go check out the package.json file and see where the ping monitor should be Um, okay. So it seems like when I added an EDB, probably run npm install again or something, but I never saved pink monitor. So, okay, let's add it then. Okay, it's back here, and NEDB should be more like a dependency over here. Let's put it up here somewhere. Okay. Alright, so let's try again. 
All right. So our store is empty now. Remember, we create that array. We fill it with whatever the database has inside. So this state that remotes list is currently empty. Awesome. Let's try. Okay. If I reload the application, then the database should be working now. So I'm going to close the whole thing and run it again. And yep, there it is.